Hi everybody, this is Kevin, and welcome back to another anime review. And today I'd like to share my thoughts on Digimon Ghost Game Episode 3, which I just got around to watching, and overall, once again, I have to say the series is going in a good direction. I can't wait to see who the big bad of the series ends up being, and, and I've enjoyed it quite a bit. So, the first two episodes, we really were introduced to our main character, Hiro, and his Digimon, Gamamon. But we see the other two main protagonists in the background, you see them in the opening there. And you have the little girl named Roly, and also the, the other young man named Kiyoshiro. And this episode primarily follows Roly as she gets her partner Digimon. And I'll show you her right there, so you guys know what she looks like. But you already saw her in the opening, and if you're watching this review, you already know what I'm talking about. But this is Roly right here. And basically the episode starts out with a bunch of townspeople being afflicted by what's called scribbles. And essentially, they're looking on their phones at all the different pictures they've taken, and... For instance, one person has scribbles on their hair, another person has scribbles on their leg, and Roly has scribbles on her hand. She's like, she took a picture like this with her hands like that. And as the days go by, she starts to realize that her fingers are disappearing, becoming translucent. Although, she like puts gloves on to hide it, and it appears she can st still use her hands, but they're disappearing. So, it's, it's pretty crazy. And seeing that, you'd get pretty freaked out too. So, uh, the culprit of this ends up being the Digimon... Drakumon, which, you know, I looked into him, and, and he's only appeared in Digimon Cross Wars, and I guess some of the games, but not in the original series, or, or Tamers, or anything like that, so he shows up, and again, they make the villainous Digimon look creepy, just like they did Kokmon and Mummymon, and he's wreaking havoc, you see with his, his, his two eyeballs there, he can essentially, like, control people, and uses, uh, his, his curses and whatnot, and he's just wreaking all kinds of havoc, so... Roly's just freaking out. She ends up not going to school the next day because she's like, oh no, my hands are disappearing. What am I going to do? And there's this cute little scene with foreshadowing where, the, where she's playing the piano, which makes sense later on. And basically, in the midst of all this, she keeps like looking at her phone, trying to delete the picture. The picture keeps coming back. The scribbles keep reappearing. <laughs> it's like, it almost reminds you of The Ring, except here you have 48 hours, The Ring, you have seven days, and then you're dead. And <laughs> it's just pretty crazy. So eventually she gets a DM from Hero. Who says, you know, I know that the, the Digimon, the hologram ghosts are wreaking havoc and I'm like the Digimon master here. So meet me at the bridge at noon and we'll figure this all out. So he shows up with Gamamon and Gamamon's in his backpack. I would mentioned in my last review about Gamamon how he's just so cute. Especially like the second episode when he's eating all that food and comes up with all the funny names. But as they're walking up, Gamamon starts going, oh, a big one, a big one. And Roly's partner Digimon is behind her, and his name is Angoramon. And why he says I'm a big one, a big one, is because look at the guy, he's a big fluffy bear. But Roly can't see him because he's a hologram ghost at this point and hasn't manifested in the human world. So, and to do that, you need the Digivice. So, she's just screaming to Hero, like, help me, I gotta fix my hands, they're gonna disappear forever, what am I gonna do? And... Angoramon mentions that he's trying to hunt down Drakumon for some time now, and Drakumon, you hear his voice, he's like, oh, you're too, you're too slow, look at me, and he's like a little imp just running around wreaking havoc, and uh, there ends up being a, a pretty big battle between Hiro, Gamamon, Angoramon, and Roly versus Drakumon, again, this guy right here, and he, he uses his two eyeballs here to sort of possess both Gamamon and Hiro, and they're, they're fighting Roly and Angoramon for a bit, and once you, like, hit them, they sort of snap out of it. And, you know, overall, pretty fun little battle at the end there. And eventually, what happens, which I, my friend Justin had mentioned this, he sort of did a, a review of this in one of his videos, where he mentioned that Roly doesn't necessarily have her own Digivice, and ends up using the Digivice that belongs to Hero to summon, or rather make... On Goromon manifest in the human world, which I didn't really care for that. Like, is she gonna use his Digivice through the whole series? That you would hope that she gets one, or she already had one, or possibly could use her her smartphone. Because I know Hero uses like it's like the Apple Watch thing that, that you put on. And in the other Digimon anime, like I think in, in Last Evolution Kizuna, they use smartphones or whatever. So I figured you know that could work, right? But he sort of got the Digivice from his father, right? Who disappeared in the digital world in the first episode. So. You know, it'll make sense later, I'm sure. And overall, they defeated the guy, and he, he, he makes a joke like he's reforming his ways, 
right? He's like, oh, I'll stop. I won't, I won't cause any more harm. And he gives the two eyeballs to them and runs off. And then you see, like, right before the, the episode ends, he's like, ha, 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 I have millions of these demon eyes. I'll keep causing havoc and, and having my fun. So, of course, he didn't reform. Although, well, yeah, Clockmon ran away. But Mummy Mom did reform because he's like, I'm going to go to, to the hospital and become a doctor now. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? So, like, there's a cute scene with Angoramon right, right before he pled with Rolly to make a manifest where he's like, oh, I love listening to you play the piano. You know, he was sort of guarding her for some time and would always sort of be in the background when she was playing the piano. Of course, she couldn't see him. And then she says, oh, next time, make yourself seen if you want to listen to me play the piano. So I thought that was a cute little scene. And overall, I, I really do enjoy the characters so far. And also, we got a little scene with uh, K K Kyo Shiro. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that name, but he's the other uh, main protagonist, this dude right here, who has like the bandaged arm and he appeared for a minute like, oh, hero, you're off in a huff. You know, these evil spirits keep attacking me. Can you help me? Can I have that Digivice? He doesn't know it's a Digivice. He just thinks it's like a magical talisman. He's like, my magical talismans aren't working anymore. I need to borrow it. And I thought it was a funny scene. So I wonder when we'll see him. Because we've got the preview for the next episode, which is actually airing on Halloween, <laughs> which is pretty funny. And they're going up against Pumpkin Mon, and he's like turning over to the pumpkins, putting pumpkins on their heads. It kind of reminds you of Halloween 3, <laughs> and it's, it looks pretty cool. So this is a short little review because I don't really have much to say about it. But overall, I like the characters. It's a fun little 20-minute watch. So I encourage you, if you know, it's on Crunchyroll, you can find it there. Um, you know, you can find it online if, if need be. And overall, it's worth checking out weekly. And I'd, I'd like to see, like, where it goes, who the big bad's eventually going to be. Like, I'm hoping to see, like, Myotismon or something like that. Or, or maybe, I'm, I'm sure we'll see Devimon and La Lady Devimon. I definitely want to see her again. But, you know, we'll see what happens with the series. Overall, I recommend it, especially if you're a fan of the Digimon series. Uh, whatever series you've watched, whether it's just Avent Adventure 1 and 2 or Tamers or Fusion or Cross Wars or whatever. I think you'll like this if you have any prior knowledge of Digimon. So... Thank you all for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And stay tuned for more videos, reviews, and all sorts of fun stuff coming on the channel soon. And also, be sure to check out my weekly live stream Saturday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time where I'm playing through Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. So, have a great day, everybody. Thank you.